Hey, what's going on? I'm DJ from Eternal Visuals, and today I'm gonna to be doing something a little bit different. I'm gonna be showing you how to recreate this Jujutsu Kaisen ending credit style using video footage in After Effects. The first time I saw this credit sequence, I fell in love with it. I love the colors, the music, the simple sketch style, but let's not waste any time, let's get into it. First, you need to find a clean background that is different from your skin tone and clothes you want to wear and it's well lit. I just happen to have a decent sized white wall nearby and plenty of sunlight. Next is your clothing choices. You can pretty much choose whatever you want, but the most important thing is to make sure that the colors aren't the same or similar and no high detail patterns. We wanna make capturing each article of clothing and body part as easy as possible for After Effects to identify. Once you have your clothes and your background, set up your camera and film whatever you want. Play some Lost in Paradise in the background and get hyped up, bust some moves and let it roll. For this test, I just decided to go with some basic movements. Now it's time to open up After Effects. Create a new project, then create a new comp. Make sure the resolution and frame rate of the comp matches your footage. Mine was a 16 by 9 4K resolution and my frame rate was 2997. To import your footage, go to File, Import, Files, and select your clip. Drag your clip onto the timeline and select the Rotor Brush tool. Double click your clip to bring you to the editing window, and now you can make your selections. Click and drag your brush over the general area you want After Effects to recognize. To refine your selection, hold Alt on your keyboard and click and drag over the area you don't want. Make sure your playhead is at the beginning of your timeline, and once you're happy with the selection, hit the spacebar for it to start tracking. If there are any flaws in the tracking, scrub back to the frame in your timeline and correct the area and then hit spacebar to continue. As long as you aren't moving too fast, all the prep work we put in should make tracking pretty easy for the Rotobrush tool. Once it is finished tracking, right click your clip and pre-comp. Title it either the body part or article of clothing. We're going to create a separate layer for every item we want to separate. Repeat these same steps by dragging another copy of the footage onto your timeline, rotoscoping, pre-comping, and labeling. I realized halfway through that I could do the legs, feet, and arms in pairs rather than separate layers. The important thing is to capture the borders of the different pieces. Once all of your pieces have been rotoscoped and pre-comped, we need to export each of these layers as a video file with an alpha layer. Select the first layer and hide the rest of the other layers. Go to Composition and add to Render Queue. Select the Output Module. Change the format to QuickTime and the channels to RGB plus Alpha and make sure your format option is on Animation. Repeat this step for the rest of your layers by deselecting the video icon on all your layers except the one you want to render. Once all of your layers are exported, create a new project. Create a new comp. Title it Jujutsu Kaisen Styling. Same resolution and same frame rate as before. Go to File, Import Files, and bring in all of your rendered layers. Drag them onto your timeline. Select your first layer, then go to Layer Auto Trace. Make sure to select Work Area, then hit OK. It will take a few moments to render, but what it's doing is creating a mask around your item. Once finished, you might see multiple masks by hitting M on your keyboard. Delete all of them except the first one. Create a new black solid and title it the body part or the clothing item. Go back to your trace layer, select your mask and use Ctrl or Command C on your keyboard to copy and Ctrl or Command V to paste the mask onto your new solid layer. Head to your effects tab and search for stroke. Drag it onto your black solid and check off all masks and set your brush size to three. Then for our outline to show through, change the blend mode of the layer to screen. You should now see a white outline of the piece you traced. Repeat these steps for all other layers. Auto trace, create a black solid, label it, copy and paste the masks, and apply the stroke effect. Eventually, you should have a whole body outlined with separate pieces of clothing. Don't worry about the inside details, we will get to that later. Select all of your layers and right click and pre-comp. Title it Outline Animation. Select your shape tool and create a new solid layer for your background. I'm going to use the famous teal background using this hex code. Then drag it below your outline comp. Go to your effects tab and search for invert. Drag it onto your outline comp to change our white outlines to black. Then to see our background, change the blend mode to multiply. Now let's add some color. Grab your pen tool and begin to click and drag to create curve points over your item in a way that's like a snake. Click your select tool once you're finished. 
Then go up to your fill color and select no fill. Then select your stroke color and choose your desired color. I went with the complementary yellow. Change the stroke size to 68. To get those soft brush corners, I went back and readjusted some of the curves. Now, this is the tedious part, but it is better than hand animating frame by frame. Hit the down arrow on your brush layer, then contents, then shape, then path. At the beginning of your timeline, create a path keyframe. Then every 10 frames, adjust the brush points to fit inside your item. The good part is it doesn't have to be perfect. The style is messy, so you just have to be good enough. Once you've made it to the end of the timeline, go back in between your keyframes and see if there's any dramatic moves you missed and adjust. Then repeat these steps for the rest of your items. Once all of your brushes are drawn and keyframed, let's head back into our outline comp to add some details. Go to your effects tab and look for turbulent displacement. Drag this onto your black solid outline. Change the amount to 40, size to 7, and complexity to 1. Then alt click the evolution timer and open up the expression window. Use the expression in the description to make the outline move in a way that makes it look like every frame was uniquely drawn. Copy and paste this effect onto all of your layers. To get our interior details for each item, in the effects tab search for cartoon. Drag this onto your auto trace layer. Unhide the layer and change the render to edges to see the layer details in white and black. Change the detail radius to 8, detail threshold to 0, edge threshold to 1.3, and width to 3.0. Go back to your effects tab and search for invert. This will flip the black and white channels to match the rest of your outlines. Repeat these steps for the rest of your auto trace layers and adjust the cartoon layer settings to your liking and invert. For the final touch, head back out to your outline and brush layers to pre-comp all of your layers once more. Then in your effects tab, search for posturize time. Drag it onto your main comp and set the frame rate to eight, and you're finished. I'm in no way trying to replace traditional anime illustrations. My hope was just to basically capture the style or the essence of the credits. I hope you learned something today and can't wait to see you in the next one.